Hello, I'm Pete, the Life Group Pastor here at Calvary. Today's word for the day is one of the more dramatic passages in the Bible. Just when you think that things couldn't get any worse for the Israelite slaves in Egypt, we come to the end of chapter one. And there we read that Pharaoh orders the Hebrew midwives to kill all the Israelite baby boys when they are born. Pharaoh is motivated by fear that if these boys grow up, they could join an army and attack Egypt. Pharaoh's solution is to simply kill the boys at birth. These midwives, their names, Shafira and Pua, feared God and they ignored Pharaoh's diabolical command. They knew that every one of these babies were made in the image of God and their lives had to be preserved. Here we see a great example of civil disobedience. They knew that it was more important to obey God rather than the laws of men. The midwives simply did nothing new. They just continued on with their typical life-giving work. This gives us a much needed encouragement. We live in a day when we will be asked more and more to disobey God. Maybe we will be expected to embrace a view that doesn't value the unborn life. We might be asked to respect one's right to end their own life. There may be a day coming when there will be no tolerance for biblical discussion of marriage or sexuality. We might be told to stop teaching God's word or clearly presenting salvation through Jesus alone. Are you ready to follow the midwife's example? Are you ready to fear God more than you fear man? Will you continue to do what you know is right, even if the powers of society tell you to stop? The result of the midwife's actions are mixed. Positively, their names are preserved for all of history. This indicates their importance and their hero-like status. God is also pleased with their action, and he blesses them with their own families. That is a great blessing. But negatively, Pharaoh ramps up his persecution to yet a new level. At the end of Exodus 1, Pharaoh commands all the people to kill their newborn boys by throwing them into the Nile River to drown. Now, the whole enslaved people group must make a choice. Will they follow Pharaoh or God? And this sets the stage for chapter two. Will there be others with enough courage and faith to defy Pharaoh and trust God? Be sure to watch tomorrow's video and read chapter two to find out the answer. Thanks for listening to today's word for the day. I hope you were encouraged to fear God more than people and you will live today in that firm commitment. Have a blessed day.